Hello to everyone, my name is Juliana Lasse. I'm a lecturer at the University of Alexander Mosiu in Doros, in Albania. Um, thanks to Lumen, today I'm going to explain my research paper, Academic Attitudes in the Process of Bologna. Uh, especially, we're going to talk a little bit about quality assurance. So, uh, some content of, the, of our research, it has to do with the object and the purpose of the study, objectives of the study, methodology, uh, some key findings of our study, and then we're going to uh, talk from some conclusions and discussions on, of our paper. The object of the study was to understand the role and the challenge of academic staff in the implementation of Bologna's uh, process, especially the quality assurance in Albania uh, education system. So what are the goals of our study? Is to contribute to the recognition of a dynamic development of how higher education system in Albania in the integration process of European Higher Education Area to provide information on the institution's policy on involvement and the importance of the role of quality assurance in the process of education, especially in sustainable education, to analyze the challenges to academic staff in the implementation of Bologna process in the higher education system and also to analyze the advantages and disadvantages of quality assurance on development of uh, the social team. So we have our methodology consists of uh, data with uh, primary and secondary data we have collected in able to uh, to have some more idea on this issue and the first primary data are collected from questionnaire addressed to the rector public and non-public higher education questionnaire addressed to the students and then we have a focus group with academic staff to the public and non-public institution to our issue and then we have also collected some data from secondary researches which means from studies reports international and national evaluation reports uh, enable to have some more uh, idea about this uh, issue. So, uh, in able to focus on our research, we have done some research question, which means what are the challenges of academic staff in higher education system in Albania to be integrated in higher education system, what is an, the need to achieve a valid and meaningful idea on quality assurance on academic staff, what are the differences between the challenges of higher education system in Albania compared to higher education in Europe and so on, and what do students and academic staff, especially leadership of higher education in Albania, perceives to Bologna process in the context of Albania. So during the data reporting was highlight the importance of the issue of quality assurance. It was intended to highlight the quality of the information received regarding the international evaluation of study programs, the regulation of the evaluation of the students, the academic staff, the institution approach of the systematic quantitative data on their research activity and it was also aimed to highlight information on institutional accreditation on the accreditation of study programs oh, yeah. so it was intended to recognize the situation yeah. in higher education institution in the oh, country yeah. for such an essential issue which is directly related to the criteria of implementation of Bologna process in Albania. So the methodology have got a sample sampling and procedure. So we have here higher education institutions, 10 of them, five private and five public. Uh, so uh, the sample of higher education institutions in the study was selected on the base of some cr criteria. Uh, the first one was to represent higher education uh, in the country, to have the highest number of the students in different uh, circles studies and relative to the study population. Also, we have seen the geographic location, institutional size, scope of the study it covers, degree of involvement in the Bologna process. 
Then we have seven rectors of the public and non-public uh, university, as it is called in Albania. Some we can find rectors, some of them can find, find uh, academic borders and so on. And um, in Albania, uh, rectors are the, the highest level of uh, uh, academic uh, institution. So the sample of academic staff consists of 50 lectors of private and public university, intentional model, a simple sample of represent categories, ages, groups, and various working years in higher education system. So in able to have this um, uh, idea of what uh, their attitudes on Bologna system, especially quality assurance. So I'm going to explain a little bit about Bologna and then we're going to see how it is implemented this reform in Albania. So the Bologna process implies the reform of higher education in Europe. Albania officially signed a Bologna process in 2003 and the principle of the moral of Bologna process is a convergence system toward a set of principles that aim to enable transparency, recognition, and higher education benefits across Europe. Some of the goals of Bologna process aimed at a more comparable, competitive, and attractive uh, European higher education area for both European students and students of other continents. Uh, till now, Bologna has got some challenges. We are not some of them competition and employment, research and in innovation, funding, higher education as a public good, quality assurance, lifelong learning, student service involvement, and so on. One we are going to talk today is about quality assurance. So, uh, whatever the future of the Bologna process and the European higher education, two things clear, clearly appeared in this process. The first one, the process itself has created a dynamic that does not seem to stop. And second, higher education institutions have shown skills that can fit different realities. So, whatever the aspiration to achieve the goal uh, of Bologna process has been 2010, but it seems that the transformational process of Bologna will continue for a long time as we see these goals um, haven't stopped yet. So as a result, the foundation of higher education institutions and uh, higher education area in Europe are not yet fully sustainable according to uh, the communique of uh, Bologna process in 2051 uh, and 15, but um, according to the last one, the last uh, uh, communique of Bologna process when ministerial come together was in Paris in 2000, um, 2018 and uh, still the saga of Bologna process go on and the challenges of quality is still uh, there. Some of the challenges of Bologna process in Albania. So as I said, Bologna process has begun in Albania in 2003 and, three, and um, it has come with some challenges during these years. Um, even though uh, Bologna process in Albania continue to, uh, to have some more issues and challenges for higher institution education. So some of them we are mentioned here are harmonization of higher education legislation, establishment of a strategy in cooperation with all stakeholders, autonomy of higher education. Here we can talk about financial and institutional uh, autonomy, but also academic autonomy, redimension of the role of higher education, development of vocational education, improving academic professionalism and supporting staff, close connection to labor market, uh, further adaptation of curricula and quality, development of research capacities and so on, and also increasing the competition in higher education. One particular challenge is 
increasing the quality of higher education institutions, which we are going to talk some facts about quality assurance and Albania system education. The European Higher Education Area undertaken in 2010 had as its main goal the creation of comparable, compatible and current study structure between countries. The quality assurance in Albania was established in uh, 1999, sorry, in Europe, in 1999, where assessments were initially made in terms of quality assurance for study programs, and only in 2007 changed it to include study programs and institutions. At European level, the UA has set up a database for quality assurance, and it looks that for Albania, we do not have too many reports in able to compare our situation, so the country situation with the European situation, only for 6% of 66 institutions in higher education have quality assurance report uh, of Albania. So we can say that um, we can do this uh, this comparable. Also, we can say that uh, in Albania, membership in EQR, European Quality Assurance Register, is still a challenge because the reason for this is the lack of its institutional autonomy by the government. We can say that the decision making for the evaluation process in a European country is mainly done by the agency agencies of quality assurance, but while in Albania, the Ministry of Education and Council of Ministry are involved in this process and both in preparing the legal framework and determining the functioning and also that of human resource in the Bologna process. So we do have created the uh, quality assurance here in Albania, which is called ASCAL or ASCL, but it's still uh, with the membership of the Ministry, Council of Europe, Council of uh, Ministries, and uh, members from the students, but uh, we are going to explain a little bit how uh, the decision making, making is uh, doing in uh, Quality Assurance Agency in Albania. So quality assurance from within the institution is provided by law 2007 and um, the the law 2007 was ad, uh, amended in 2008 and then in 2000 in 2015 and so we have some different uh, laws in Albania which regulate uh, uh, has regulated the quality assurance but the last one is the law 2015 when uh, the institution have been very slow in setting up these structures and consolidating them. The government drafts and approves in detail the legislation on functional institutional organization and quality assurance and monitors their effectiveness. So the decision-making process is relatively centralized in Albania as the government regulated the financial sphere while universities are autonomous in terms of administration, promotion of academic staff, and institutional organization. So monitoring of the activity of higher education institution is done with inspection and bureaucratic formally. Um, to go on with general findings of our research, the main expectation from the implementation of Bologna process in higher education are first facilitating the recognition of diploma and creating opportunities for international uh, cooperation, doing this through the process of quality. The impact of Bologna process is most evident in the terms of European dimension of curricula, implementation of credit system, the possibility of the student's mobility, quality assurance and university autonomy, but academic staff want to know more in terms of uh, uh, the challenges that Bologna process brings to them. So they want to know more about advantages and disadvantages of Bologna responsibilities they have for the implementation of Bologna process, need to get uh, 
acquainted with the strength of the Bologna process implementation in higher education institutions. So uh, we have divided in some categories the challenges and the issues that uh, academic staff has mentioned in our research. First, problems with students, their level of knowledge and experience, then curriculum problem related to new adaptation, system recru recruitments, lack of knowledge and information, both for students and academic staff in Bologna process, society, mentality, and resistance to the change, bureaucracy and existing administrative problem in our university. So Bologna process from students perspective, we have some findings here. So uh, concerning the involvement of the students in the implementation of Bologna process, uh, we have done some questions. So for example, the first, the, 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 que the research question was, has your institution higher education organized meeting with the students of the Bologna process to, to, our, to the rectors? And they said that um, uh, 48.2% uh, state that they did not attend any uh, kind of organize, organization or meeting to Bologna process. Concerning the involvement of the students in the implementation of Bologna process is the need for representation and support, the need to report on reform periodically. Much of the organized meetings are discussed mainly by non-public universities not satisfied with the process involvement as far for example they do not have much influence in quality decision making in the higher education institution so participation in implementation of bologna process is very low in albania according to the students uh, involvement so what are some of the findings from our attitudes to Bologna process and quality assurance to the rectors? In response to the challenge of students' involvement and participation in Bologna process, the findings show that the importance of students' involvement in higher education institution in the country has not been relatively ignored, but the involvement of the students was carried out formally particip participation in the Senate and the Council, uh, providing information on the issue of Bologna process through, through their representatives in decision-making structures. In practice, students are still not considered equal partner in decision-making and the situation at the institution level in most institutions needs attention. So the findings show that the students are little or no involved directly in this process. Uh, for example, when doing curricula or when decision, um, some decisions are making in a financial process or in academic processes and so on. Involvement of students in the implementation of Bologna process as an equal actor is a challenge for Albania, Univer Albania universities and also more attention to student services uh, need to need to be more attention and also it is a challenge. Challenge to the rector will be easier to achieve by recognizing the best implementation experience of Bologna process, awareness of academic staff and administrative and students uh, in the process of Bologna, strengthen of cooperation with European and regional university and creating support to infrastructure of university. Some more finding from, from the leadership. Uh, another challenge on students' involvement and service delivery is involvement of students in the implementation of Bologna process is carried out formally. We have here 85.7% uh, Evalu um, are not evaluated and applying internal evaluation of study programs from the institutions. So institutions do not have done the in 
internal evaluation of study programs, but um, only 14.3% uh, of them has done this. So as we see, the evaluation of the programs and uh, quality assurance is still in the first steps of uh, happening in Albania process. So quality challenges, establishment and operating of quality assurance system, internal evaluation is performed regularly of higher education institution. And only 42.9 of non-public universities have completed institutional accreditation in Albania system. So we can say that uh, the quality assurance assessment has started in Albania, but is not, is not uh, ended yet. Another challenge is the developing strategy, strategies in higher education development and um, also we have here the need of Bologna process development, lack of coordination office. Uh, we do not have a special office here in Albania to coordinate the problem of Bologna process or the problems of universities uh, in, in their coordination with um, uh, all the challenges of Bologna process. Priority area is uh, construction of studies according to cycles, building a credit system, strengthening the role of higher education area, select from the next decade, but quality assurance recognition of diploma, creating a comprehensive system is also a challenge and um, a strategic challenge for universities in Albania. Challenges will be easier to us to achieve and to have success by recognizing best practice of Bologna process implementation, awareness of teaching staff, students and administrative staff, strengthen cooperation with European and regional university and also establish uh, support in infrastructure. So we have here institutional accreditation of the program as we explained uh, below. We have, do your institution has uh, got um, a, institutional accreditation and we have only uh, seven uh, 57.1% of the institution has done the accreditation institutional and only 42.9% has done and this one here hasn't done yet. So as we see, institutional accreditation is not uh, done from the most of the higher education institutional in, in Albania. So it's a challenge from uh, institutional um, higher education to make accreditation and uh, when we talk about accreditation of study programs we have here that only uh, have a high uh, quality assurance or high quality in the programs because most of the universities has done the uh, accreditation of the program study uh, 85.7% and 14.3% uh, hasn't done. So we can say that the situation to the accreditation program uh, versus institutional accreditation is better. So finding from leadership attitudes uh, goes on with, uh, with the challenges. Another one is increasing the quality and global competence of European education are the central goal of the Bologna process and the Lisbon strategy. So leadership uh, is awareness of uh, um, Bologna process and the need for quality. The institutional response to the question will reveal that the establishment and functioning of the Bologna assurance system is one of the most important challenge in the recent year of higher education in the country. Regarding to internal quality, there are regulations for students and evaluation of academic staff, but they are not completed at and needed monitoring. So we do not have uh, too much data to see how this process go on. External quality 
of assurance agency is made by, as I explained, is made by uh, AC, ASCL, AL, ASCAL, uh, has been set up, but um, ASCAL practices, especially its dependence on government decision, have not yet created the condition for membership in uh, European Quality Assurance Register, which is uh, another challenge for uh, our higher education institutions and um, to have more comparable data, enable to cross the data and to see where Albania in fact is with uh, quality assurance process. From a policy perspective, we can say that internal quality assurance requires a balance between autonomy and accountability in order to assure the institution's commitment to their evaluation and implementation process leading the improved quality level. Now, we have concluding here some findings from the focus group lectures. Uh, we have done a focus group with 50 lectures from uh, private and public university with different status professor, assistant professor, lecturer, PhD lecturer and other academic staffs with different ages and we see that academic staff identify as a very important the quality assurance involvement of students in the implementation of process. Uh, also the most important issue they list are to achieve greater transparency for our education system, to increase the quality of the curricula, to improve internal evaluation in study program, to improve the bureaucracy and administrative programs that exist to them in uh, higher education institutions. The findings show that the quality of the level of infrastructure and professionalism, the value system and independence of the education system in university are still influenced by the political climate. Half of them believe that there will be better quality in higher education in a longer period of time, but still better underline the importance of uh, curriculum reorganizations in according to quality assurance. So, according to our findings, we have some we have done some conclusion and recommendation regarding to the aim of the studies. First, what do we have? in the region of Europe, what do we have in the Balkan region, and then what Albania has to do. First, in the Europe, the preparation of development policy and strategy at the national, we have in the national level. Second, the need for greater stakeholder engagement. National government are required to take concrete steps for an efficient national uh, to be asked for research cooperation, increase funding for higher education research, develop specific policy and measure the study program, create the condition to promote mobility, set priorities in higher education based on local, national and subnational needs. So in Balkan region, first we have countries are required to take steps in rising policies and legislation by promoting institutional autonomy and stakeholders participation, higher education need to define their mission in line with the goal and principle of sustainable education, joint action plans need to be created, and also the fourth is university need to strengthen their programs through collaboration and meeting challenges. In Albania, we do have the need for a common European approach the need for institutional leaders to develop institutional coherence of change in many dimensions, to need to implement the linear process with specific their goal, mission and objective while respecting institutional diversity, consider the model of autonomy and responsibility as another challenge, understanding the border role of higher education, discussing at border level of Bologna implementation. Uh, the conclusion and recommendations we have concluded in, uh, from an institutional perspective and from a policy perspective, 
uh, from an institutional perspective, it is necessary to consider all aspects of students' need in order to ensure their academic success. Particular attention should be given to students' participation in governance and collegial uh, process. From a policy perspective, the role of national authority in partnership with higher education institutions should create the framework and support of the necessary measures to facilitate and support a new model for positive changes in development of higher education. As a conclusion, it is recommended that more research should be concluded. Uh, students' involvement is definitely an added value in Albania society to work faster integration in higher education institutions. So, as a conclusion, uh, quality assurance, entire quality assurance is provided by a low but institution have been very slow in setting up this structure and consolidating them. The government's draft and approved in detail the legislation on their functioning institutional organization, quality assurance and monitors for their efficiency. The decision making process is relatively centralized and government has to regulate the financial sphere while your universities uh, from another side needs to be uh, autonomous to take um, their institution in fair hand and then to go forward. A monitoring of the activity of higher education institution is done with uh, too much formal and um, is not uh, finished yet. Thank you for your attention and see you maybe next time. If you have questions, I'm open to, to hear you and to discuss more in this issue. Thank you.